So in order to add a card successfully uh, to Apple Pay, first we must unlock the phone. For that I have my, m my Touch ID set up. Then access settings. Go to wallet and Apple Pay. Click on add credit or debit card. Read the instructions as follows. Follow the on-screen instructions. For this you can actually scan the card using your phone's camera or you can also enter the information manually. For this, I chose to scan the card. The card details will pop up. You'll just verify that all that information is correct. Hit Next. You'll be prompted to verify the expiration date and security code, which once you've done that, you'll hit Next. It will contact uh, the bank through which your card is, is from. You'll go through the terms and conditions, scroll to the bottom. Hit that you agree, it'll prompt you to verify that you agree to the terms and conditions. All right, and your card has been successfully added to Apple Pay. So Apple Pay's service was announced on September 9, 2014. Uh, it eventually came out on October 20th, 2014. Uh, Apple Pay works with iOS 8.1 and later, so the later versions, and it was powered by uh, NFC technology. So NFC technology is basically a data transferring tool and it works between two wireless devices. Uh, there's no internet connection required and devices must be in close proximity. So basically it needs to be right next to another piece of NFC technology. NFC technology is used in a bunch of different types of technology. It's what Apple Pay uses and it can be used in cars, retail, terminals, entrances to stadiums, and even vending machines. So NFC technology evolved from RFID technology. So basically, there's little chips inside two different devices that is able to use the Apple Pay. Um, so basically, the two chips recognize each other, and it's a transfer of data between the two different devices. And that's basically how Apple Pay works. It transfers your credit card information to the terminal. So in order to use Apple Pay, first we must set up the Touch ID. For that, you access your phone, go to Settings, Touch ID and Passcode. You'll enter your current passcode. Then you'll click on Add a Fingerprint, at which point you will choose what finger you want to use. And then basically you're just going to place it up and down so the Touch ID can scan your fingerprint uh, from, from various different positions. As you can see, it's asking you to place it on the fingerprint scanner, then off, and then up, and then up, and then back off of it again so that it can get as many dimensions as possible.
now it's asking me to adjust my grip. There we go. We've, we've successfully added a fingerprint to the Touch ID scanner. You also have the option to go in there and label the thumbprint or the fingerprint so that you can kind of keep track of which ones you have.